Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>
is never dull with Will. <laughs> she said, look, let's go across to the shop across the campus and buy you a new pair of swimming trunks. And I said, okay, so we went across. And there was an Italian lady behind the counter. And uh, there I had the bizarrest conversation I've ever had with any shop assistant. I went looking for a pair of shorts that I talked thought looked low on rolling resistance, and I said to her, excuse me, I said, are these pants, you know, are these quite slippy, you know, good for the, for the slide? Are these quite slippy, these pants? Good for... And she said, she said uh, no, these not for the sleep. <laughs> these for the swim. And I went, oh, ha, 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 ha. I said, no, 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 I said, uh, I said, what I mean is, you know, are these, are they, you know, good for the... I don't know why I was whistling. Are they, you know, are they, are they slippy pants? And she said, no, they're not for the nighttime activities. Nothing like this. Not for the romantic activity. Just for the swim. Do you, know, do you know something? Under the duress of the situation, my wife and kids perched at the door sniggering. Frankly, I made a suboptimal purchasing decision. I really did. I bought a pair of swimming shorts which were way too small for me. And the, ah, I mean, they left nothing to the imagination. And I arrived out into the, the sunshine of the morning in a pair of pants that were battered onto me. <laughs> and I said to my wife, I said, I'm ready. Take me to Frozen Bob. <laughs> I said, I'm ready to conquer him. Take me forward. And you know, I went back to Frozen Bob, and my pants still got stuck to the slide. So it must be me that has the rolling resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, next time somebody suggests to me going to an aqua park, I won't bother my backside. Mr. Speaker. <laughs>